Hi, hello everyone. My name is Dr. Anne Shinde. I'm from Pune and I'm a, a student of Tiraxas and uh, Intellect Medicals. Uh, and I'm Dr. Mustafa Beg, and um, we are thrilled to have all of you with us today. We recently cleared our MRCP Part 1 exam and uh, being part of Intellect Medicals Batch 5 and we are here today to express uh, our gratitude to Dr. Chirak Madan sir and to Intellect Medicals and also to share our journey with uh, all of you. So we want to start by saying uh, thank you to sir because uh, sir without your uh, support and your unwavering push we were our success our journey would not have been successful and we wouldn't have been here today <clears throat> dr chirak sir this is for you you've been a true pioneer in mrcp coaching and both of us like uh, dr Ann just told that i think all of us who passed in batch 5 we owe our success to you and to your unwavering support and what makes this video even more special is that um, this is a surprise thank you to Dr. Chirak sir and he has no clue about it and we hope that uh, this video brings a smile to your face and um, also uh, we would uh, like to share our journey and struggles to try and motivate uh, all those who are watching uh, so that you know if you're going towards MRCP uh, and you're facing some struggles you have somebody who might have faced uh, similar things before. So I'll start by talking a little bit about my journey. Uh, I am married to an army officer. So I am an army wife, as they say. Um, I have been, I have a, we have a four-year-old daughter and uh, I completed my MBBS a really long time ago, actually, 10 years ago. So for me to come back to studying was a big decision. Uh, besides that, because my husband is away most of the time, I am mostly parenting my child by myself. So to juggle between these roles as a parent to her and to start studying again was a big question mark in front of my face. So I um, when I had to take a big decision, which was to uh, quit my job and completely focus on this. And uh, having said that, I knew I wanted to do it, but I didn't know how to go about it. So as, uh, I, as I keep telling myself, I think God led me to intellect medicals. Because uh, from there on, it, it became a little more clearer as to how I have to go about this journey. And uh, all of these obstacles and difficulties were always there, but I decided to take it all in my stride. And because I was more focused on the end result and uh, what it would be for me as a professional and my family. So Thank you, Dr. Ang, for sharing your journey. And uh, whereas for me, I think my part, my path has been a bit different. So I'm an MBBS doctor uh, with limited experience and uh, I've always dreamed of practicing abroad like in the UK and so. So I never really attempted, I never gave an attempt towards the NEET exam and right after my internship, uh, I began preparing for my MRCP part one exam. And before I joined Intellect Medicos, I had already given the exam three times. So in my earlier attempts, um, I did whatever uh, I could find on the internet, uh, follow the strategies of the people who had passed, you know, um, the same things which I said over Facebook, WhatsApp, and all the social media and all. Okay. I did pass medicine uh, two times before I went to an exam. I read essential notes, Maghrabi notes. And uh, by the time I reached my third attempt, I practically memorized pass medicine. I did it so many times. Uh, I read essential notes, Maghrabi notes, three or four times uh, before going to the exam. I solved past papers, sample papers. I put in a lot of effort, but uh, I failed. And, you know, it just hit me a lot. And um, I started doubting myself. Uh, and I started thinking that maybe I made a terrible uh, mistake and I'm maybe I'm not a good doctor. And, you know, I don't have enough experience. And, um, you know, all the, 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 all the things which people say on the internet, I started believing those. Like um, maybe this is a post MD exam and you know, it is beyond my reach, beyond my scope. And I was feeling incredibly low. And I remember very vividly uh, that I was sitting in the Bangalore airport. I had a flight to board and I was contemplating quitting medicine altogether. Uh, and I just stumbled across uh, Dr. Chirak sir's page, Intellect Medicos. Uh, and I just dropped sir a text message. Like um, we know this now that Chirak sir is a very busy man and he has a lot mm -hmm. of things on his plate. So, but I just dropped a text to text message to sir. I told him that sir, I'm so and so, and I'm struggling with this exam and whatnot. And um, by the grace of God, he replied immediately. 
like within seconds i had his reply and he just told me that you know uh, don't worry uh, i am there for you and he reassured me and he told me that the primary uh, task right now is to just board the flight and you know have a safe journey and as soon as you land why don't you give me a call and we'll discuss uh, what to do further uh, so that's how it began for me and uh, you know i just thought uh, after speaking to sir i just thought you know i've tried everything else i've tried past medicine i've tried notes i've tried everything else whatever you the usual thing is there on the internet so why not give this a shot why not see you know what what difference uh, does it make like you know what am i doing wrong so you know like uh, dr ann i think um, we know this that um, preparing for a foreign exam already is a very lonely journey because you have only so many mm. people who are giving exams like mrcp or usmle or so on and so forth especially mrcp there are very less number of people who know a lot about mrcp exam and all uh, and it's already pretty lonely like you know you don't have a lot of friends who are doing the same thing everybody's in a rat race going towards neat exam and all Mm-hmm. and uh, you know like my best friend uh, uh, shahrukh khan says my close personal best friend a failure is very lonely and you know in success you have a lot of people who are around you everybody is appreciating your friends colleagues your mentors and what not but failure itself is lonely and um, we failed once or twice in my case i failed thrice so i was also very lonely very depressed plus i was giving an exam which is even more lonely I was all alone. But after joining Intellect Medicos, I found a wonderful group of all talented doctors. You know, from various uh, sorts of life, like Dr. Ann, Dr. Reshma, and all the other people. And um, we just formed a close knit group. You know, um, where we discussed our MCQs, we motivated each other, we tried solving everybody's concepts. You know, like somebody texts something, you try and help them out. And you know, if yeah. we used to just share each other's struggles. you know like i'm going through this she's going through that and um, you know we just sort of help navigate each other through these tough times so dr ann if you remember i wanted to share uh, the moment um, you know the day i think it was the day our um, exam dates were released yeah. and i wasn't very confident in booking my exam and i told you that uh, you know i'm facing so many struggles and you know there's so many problems in my life all this and that and uh, you just told me like you know just shut up and just listen to me and uh, you know you just shared your journey and everything and you told me that you know we all face challenges but what truly really matters is we don't give up and we fight relentlessly till we succeed so i booked the exam mm-hmm. immediately after <laughs> our conversation <laughs> thankfully you did so we, the point we're trying to make here is that sir's coaching is excellent the way he he has this whole course structured is is flawless i feel like but mm-hmm. at the same time it also gives you like a uh, a very good group of people to fall back on we had like a global community because there were doctors in our batch from different parts of the country there was somebody from dubai pakistan sri lanka different cities of india so all of us had only one goal in our mind which was to crack the part 1 exam yes. so we pushed each other when and where it was needed yeah and another uh, uh, backgrounds you know yes definitely and it's just really fascinating how mustafa you and i are from very different uh, phases of life very yeah. different journey paths but yet we came together here and pulled each other <laughs> to pass that mrcp line yeah. and intellect medicos definitely sir and intellect medicos has a very very big role to play in this whole story yeah. yeah so i think you're absolutely correct there dr ann and uh, you know like you told um, the uh, there are a lot of different aspects to what intellect medicos offers in their mrcp course uh, which mm. right, is called the elite course so it is something like a 90 day long marathon wherein you know uh, right from the beginning uh, we are handed a structure which is so well structured you know uh, the time tables and everything you know what to do when and so mm. it's tells you exactly what you have to study uh, how you have to study it and how many mcqs you have to do per day and you know at various mm. stages of your preparation like in the first month second month and so on and uh, but the best part uh, about his uh, guidance and everything i think is what he very passionately calls pushing those red buttons you know basically mm. the stuff which you have to avoid like you know wasting your time or focusing too much on one subject 
or getting lost mm-hmm. in huge textbooks or you know like davidson harrison or you know some people how they usually take multiple question banks past medicine past this bmj and what not mm-hmm. i think that mm-hmm. that was a big big help for uh, me and you and everybody else who were there yeah i definitely remember those red buttons which he would time and again uh, tell yeah. us about yeah. because uh, uh, just uh, resonating with what you said his his course is very well structured so uh, when you study a particular system on monday you're studying that the whole week and then you're tested on that uh, sunday for the same system so you're essentially revising it the whole week and then you're actually tested like an actual exam and that's when during the discussion you know how many red buttons you have pressed through the week <laughs> and what you should not be doing before the actual exam i mean those sunday's exams where i think um, i think we used to really curse and you know it, it was just terrible at that uh, at that point you know they felt like battles you know every week you're going into a different battle one the first week is about cardiology then respiratory then you know neurology and it it just had a massive difference on at least our preparation strategies and i can attest for it also you know like um, the fear of exam which you have you know like that yes. all all those things are gone because you know you are giving an exam every week and that too for 90 mm-hmm. days and by the time you sit in the exam it just feels like a a rehearsal of the of something which you have done before because uh, all those exams are time tested there are scores and you're ranked and everything so i think um, the sunday's exams really uh, are essential for anybody who's preparing for msvp yeah and let's not forget the 15 day revision mm-hmm. which is like a crash course which is so power packed that mm-hmm. it was literally on every alternate day yeah. and multiple systems and but it was very focused on only high yield topics and uh, very unique in the way that it was live Yeah. so he is literally throwing questions at you at any point so you better be paying attention <laughs> <laughs> and those notes doctor and i mean sir's notes during revision or during this normal theory classes which you used to take, i mean they are so crisp and they're so you know to the point and there is no if the of and all those things and you know they are very highlighted mm-hmm. and um, i remember that when i was sitting in the exam and you know when there was a question coming in front of me the only thing i could remember in all that tension was his notes it, you know it, just the mental picture is to flash before me with his highlights and with sir's video playing in the background ke don't push red buttons or don't do this or don't do that and you know with especially with uh, topic like sarcoidosis or um, you know pneumothorax and all that which sir keeps on emphasizes and which you actually see in the exam so the notes i think were fundamental to part of our success and you know passing the exam yeah and that's why we very uh, truly believe that it is a fantastic course very well organized and structured mm-hmm. and uh, it has played a very 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 important uh, role in our success story yeah so uh, for just to um, sum it up i feel like uh, my uh, dream of uh, doing a post graduation has been something that i i have put away or have just not paid attention to because i feel like it was not going to happen if it didn't happen till now but when i when i decided upon this and um, stumbled upon sir and started this journey now that i know that i have taken the first step and successfully even though it is a long one i know that intellect medicos and sir will be holding my hand through this and uh, will take me to my success yeah absolutely at the end of it i think we owe a big big thanks to dr chirag sir for all his effort <clears throat> i mean the man never took a day off you remember dr ann that uh, sir became a father during the course i mean i think uh, we were three or four weeks in and he just told us that i just became a father and everything mm-hmm. but took a day off he never yeah. postponed his uh, Uh, sessions after the sessions if it is meant to happen on a sunday at 7 pm no matter what happens he will be there yeah, yeah. like when he went on his foreign trip and he yeah, still yeah. wanted to take a session at 7 pm <laughs> and that too i is yeah it didn't matter whether it was day or night wherever he was but yeah, yeah. our class happened at uh, 7 pm i still still remember it was hematology and i want to apologize to sir that sir even though you put in so much efforts for our hematology class i still scored 50% in hematology <laughs> i'm really really sorry. it is just not my cup of tea 
but yeah he yeah. declined any of my panic calls which you know i used to throw at sir you know like uh, at 2 am 3 am 4 am i used to just spring up sir randomly that sir mere se nahi ho raha i can't do this and you know it's too difficult it is above me and all that so thank you so much sir and um, doctor and i honestly believe that um, during those months no i might have cried more than baby pranj himself so <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much sir for taking care of us for guiding us and uh, to all the people who are watching if you are thinking about the mrcp exam or if you're just stuck in life think about intellect medicals and if you just need help and support like that like i did on that day in the bangalore airport then think about, about intellect medicals so thank you thank you all we yeah we also want to extend our very big congratulations to sir mm -hmm. for uh, his part two students who have all passed which uh, that means he has 100% uh, result Success and uh, thank uh, and and thank you once again sir for everything mm. and i hope you take part two classes <laughs> for us mm. and also give us a discount at <laughs> because thank you uh, <laughs> yeah because of the video mm. thanks a lot guys and all the best thank you